Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and this is Teacher Ella and for today's video, we're going to talk about ACADSOC requirements and application process. So, ACADSOC naman po tayo guys. Okay, so if you're planning to apply to ACADSOC, this video is for you. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This channel aims to help you guys to find a job online, especially in ESL teaching. Kung nagustuhan nyo rin yung video na to, please like the video and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa aking mga bagong uploads. So, let's go to Akadsok Minimum Qualifications. Number one is Excellent English Communication Skills. And number two, Capable of Teaching Kids or K-12. to And number three, bachelor's degree or higher and number four must be 20 years old or above number five available teaching hours is 6 p.m to 10 p.m monday to friday and 10 a.m to 10 p.m saturday sunday okay so hindi naman ito lang yung available ni ng time okay but pero ito yung peak hours nila so dapat kailangan available kayo this this peak hours kasi Ano, ire-require kayo ng coach niyo na mag-open ng slots. Number six is English teaching experience or certificates such as TESOL, TEFL are preferred. Okay, preferred lang. But if you don't have one, ACADSOC will provide TESOL training with a certificate and make you qualified. So, nagbibigay sila ng, nagbibigay sila ng free na training and then they will give you a certificate. Okay, so kung bago ka, uh, the best to para sa'yo. Seven is a quiet, clutter-free, and well-lit space in your home. Next, let's go to device requirements. Number one, PC or laptop, at least Windows 7, Intel Core i3, and 4 gig RAM. Number two, has a staple DSL broadband fiber internet connection with 3 Mbps download and 2 Mbps upload. Number 3, noise cancelling headphones and HD webcam. So, yan po ay para sa device requirements. Siyempre, pag na na tayo, these are our responsibilities for Akadsok. So, number 1, delivery ESL lessons online, textbooks and course materials are given. Okay, so sila yung magbibigay sa atin ng materials. Next is creating class remarks for each completed lesson. Very common kasi kahit sa ibang ESL company, kay after talaga bibigay tayo ng lesson memo sa mga students natin. Number 3, providing corrections and study tips to students. Number 4, troubleshooting class related problems. Okay, so those are responsibilities. Okay, so guys, let's move to application process. Number 1 is basic info. Dun sa website nila, ibigay nyo lang yung mga personal information. Huwag nyo pong dayain. Of course, lagi ko yan sinasabi sa lahat ng mga viewers ko. Huwag nyo pong dadayain kasi they will ask for proof kung totoong may mga certificate kayo or ganun yung mga natapos nyo. Kasi kahit diploma, hihingi nila yan sa inyo. Okay, guys, uh, wala akong kakilalang teacher sa akin. So, but I tried uh, applying to Akad. So, natanggap ako guys. Pero, ang may share ko lang sa inyo, yung experience ko habang nag apply ako. Pero, dun sa mga lesson, hindi kasi ako nakapagturo sa kanila. Natapos ko yung training, pero hindi ako nakapagturo sa Akad. So, so number two, online interview siya. Okay? Sa Skype na siya. Pagkatapos mong mag-fill in ng basic information mo, uh, makaka-receive ka ng email, then you will be scheduled for an online interview through Skype. I-share ko lang sa inyo guys, nung in-interview ako, dalawa kami. Okay? And seryosohin niyo po yung interview. Okay? Seryosohin niyo siya. Kasi ganito yung nangyari sa amin, dalawa kami in-interview. Tapos, yung, yung kasam kasabay ko, ano siya, call center agent siya. Siyempre, magaling siya mag mas magaling siya mag-English sa akin. Pero alam niyo ba guys, hindi siya prepared. Halatang halata yung background niya nung in-interview siya. Kita yung double deck niya sa, li sa likod. Tapos makalat. Kakalat yung gamit niya. So parang hindi talaga niya pinaghandaan. Tapos pag tinanong siya ng mga questions, 
hindi niya alam yung sasabihin niya. Okay? Uh, hindi ko pinagyayabang. Pero bago ko sumasalang sa mga interviews ko, pinagahandaan ko yun. Okay? Pinagahandaan ko, hindi ko basta iniit siya puwera na, oh, okay lang yan, uh, madali lang yan. Hindi guys, nung, nung tinanong niya ako kung anong gagawin ko kapag hindi nakikinig yung estudyante ko, Sinabi ko talaga na ni-research ko to, hindi ako wala akong experience pero nag-research ako. So, I think these are the ways, these are the way or methods that I need to do. I need to prepare props, ganyan ganyan. So, ang dami kong shinare. Pero naging honest ako kasi wala naman talaga akong experience. Tapos pag pag yung kasabay ko na yung tatanungin, sasabihin niya lang na, "Oh, I'm speechless to 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 Ella ganyan ganyan. I didn't had any I didn't have any preparation. Basta ganun, kitang-kita na walang preparation. Okay? And then, number three, okay, they will give you offer. Okay? And the, ang pagkakaalala ko, sasabihin na nila sa'yo kung, kung magte-take ka ng pangalawang, de, ah, kung magte-take ka ng demo. Okay? Alam niyo guys, dahil dun sa interview na nangyari sa amin, Okay, yung offer sa akin at offer sa kanya magkaiba. Okay? Ang akad so kasi may dalawa siyang may dalawa siyang ways. Parang booking system which is kapag binook ka ng estudyante, tsaka ka lang. Tsaka ka lang syempre mababayaran. Pero meron silang tinatawag na old package, new package and then old package. Okay, yung old package is inopen mo yung slot mo ata and then kahit unbook siya, mababayaran ka. Alam nyo guys, ang binigay sa akin ng recruiter, yung old package. Okay? Feeling ko dahil nakita nila na prepared ako at saka parang talagang gustong-gusto kong maging part ng, ng company nila. Okay? Talagang pinaghandaan ko yun. So guys, pag in-interview kayo, make sure na prepared kayo para maganda yung may offer sa inyo. Okay? And then after that, uh, magkakaroon kayo ng teaching training which is very, very common sa lahat ng ESL company kung paano kayo magturo, kung ano yung dapat niyong malaman sa company nila. Okay? And, and then, number five, demo class. Okay? So, dito sa demo class nila kakaiba, hindi siya Chinese evaluator, pero ano siya, student talaga siya. Okay? Ang pagkakaintindi ko, student evaluator siya. Basta university student, high school student, basta student talaga yung makakasama nyo, uh, yung tuturuan nyo, okay? And then, hindi siya parang katulad sa ibang ESL company na ang binibigay nilang material is pang bata, okay? Pang higher grade. At saka nung sa interview pa lang, parang mas marami silang, sabi nung recruiter sa akin, mas marami silang higher grade. Siguro university students, I'm not sure. Okay? So, ayun na nga, uh, nag-demo ko, Tapos, pumasa naman ako, but I got a very low class mark kasi merong part, merong word doon na alam ko siya in English pero hindi ko ma-explain sa kanya. Kasi syempre, hindi naman siya oo oh, 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 hanggat hindi niya alam kasi nga estudyante din siya, hindi rin niya talaga alam. So, prepare, i-prepare niyo talaga yung sarili niyo, aralin niyo yung mga words kung kaya niyo bang i-explain in English then ha okay so kung nakapasa na kayo dun sa demo class okay uh, bibigyan na nila kayo ng training hindi nyo naman agad tatapusin yung yung TESOL nyo pero kailangan nyo tapusin yung introduction to TESOL okay bago, bago nila kayo i bago kayo ma-qualified at magturo sa ACAD so, so training muna ng introduction to TESOL and then training ng mga lesson materials nila and other training kits and then, you are qualified. Okay? So, itatransfer ka rin naman nila sa magiging coach mo. Okay? So, may mga coach, may designated coach din kayo. And then, you can you can also ask questions. At saka, sila rin yung magbibigay sa inyo ng, ng instructions kung ano yung mga dapat gawin. Okay? So, that's it. Sana meron kayong natutunan. And, okay, guys, additional information, I forgot. Okay, Chinese students po pala ang mga tuturuan dito. 25 minutes per class. Okay? Two, class, two classes per hour. Video class sila. Mostly higher grade ang tinuturuan nila. Okay? Okay, ang salary nila via PayPal. Every 1st and 16th of the month. 
So, yun lang guys. If you like the video, please like the video and hit the notification bell. Please subscribe. Thank you. I will see you next time. Bye!